Pamela, congratulations. Double congratulations. Thank you. On the film, Barbed Wire, which we're going to talk about, and also you're going to be a mama pretty soon. Right? May is going to be a big month for me, yeah. An <laughs> yeah, important month, right? Because the film yeah. opens, I believe, May 3rd. May 3rd, uh, and then... Yeah. Okay. Baby comes the end of May. End of May. Right. Could you give us... Uh, uh, your character, Barb Wire. Yeah. It's the, it's set in the not too distant future, and uh, she hangs out at this place, the uh, Hammerhead. Hammerhead Bar and Grill, I think it is. Could you kind of pick it up from there and just give us a brief synopsis of the story? Well, that's where she's kind of ended up. She used to be involved in the war. She was a freedom fighter, mm -hmm. and the man that she loved left her at war, and um, so she just became this very bitter, distant, and jealous woman who really doesn't care for other people in general, and decided to go to the depths of Steel Harbor where she lives and operates this bar and with her brother. And she's just very, she's neutral. And every, it, the, there's a war going on all around you, so nobody is neutral. Mm -hmm. She's neutral. But she's just known as being this real, you know, she's a bounty hunter. She's a really tough woman, and really the only way to get through Steel Harbor is if you go through barbed wire. And this man who left her at war comes back and needs a favor because he's he's married to a doctor and the doctor's going to save the world and the only way they can do it is with the help of barbed wire. So she's trying to get over her bitterness and help save the planet. <laughs> and get these people back to Canada. Or get something. them to Canada. Get them to Canada. Yeah. Okay. I did read that, uh, and, and I feel from what I've seen of the film, and we haven't seen the whole thing yet, but um, that she's a woman in total control. Would you agree? Yeah, I think so. I think she has really kind of deep, deep harbored kind of resentments towards men and towards the world, but I think that she's very much in control. She takes control wherever she goes, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. From the tremendous success you've had on Baywatch now to this year feature film debut, Barbed Wire, are you very satisfied with this um, this this transition? I think this is could have been the best. This is the best role I could have played in a movie. I mean, it was just so much fun. It's so me. You know, it's a really good transition. I think from. This character is really more like me than the CJ character on television, mm -hmm. so people are really going to see a, a darker, harder side to me. Just mention the cast, some of the good cast. Tamara Morrison. Mm -hmm. He was in Once Were Warriors, which is a wonderful film, and he plays Axel. My lost love that comes back to drive me nuts. And um, Victoria Rowell. She plays the doctor. Um, Udo Kier. Yeah, like Jack Noseworthy. Yeah, great yeah, cast. Yeah. Great cast, a lot of fun. What uh, kind of music would Barb listen to? Well, we have the soundtrack is awesome for the movie. I'm so excited about that. And my husband wrote a song for the, the soundtrack called Planet Boom. Mm -hmm. It was actually a song that was already existing, and he remixed it for the film. And there's actually a few few parts in the in the in the song now where my voice is. They oh, remixed it. It's so wild. You sing. Yeah. No, I'm not really singing. I'm just kind of saying a few things. It's very high tech. It's very it's very hard and and. Would she it's like perfect. heavy metal? And yeah. Metal well, it's it's more it's not really heavy metal. It's more of a nasty kind of vibe. It's really uh, like a, a rock heavy. It's like heavy metal, but it also has a real dance yeah. beat to it. It's, and she, yeah. we can see her on a motorcycle like the one behind yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, many times. Pretty daring. You did so physically tough. Some good stunt work too. Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Actually, I love doing the stunt work. It's choreography, and it's the it's like a dance. You know, you really have to hit all your marks and do all these things, and and I really enjoy kickboxing, so it was fun. Well, one thing I've learned from what I've seen in the film is she has her own car. I've never uh, seen that. You haven't seen that? <laughs> she has, wow. Barb, she, Barb has her own card, and it says, "Don't call me babe." Right. I'm not calling you babe. No, that's good. <laughs> so, well, you're not from Hollywood. There's a lot of people that call people babe here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You know, it's interesting. I don't nice. think I'll be called babe anymore, though. Well, nice meeting you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Look forward to, to seeing you in this barbed wire. Thank don't you. Miss it. Thank you. Thank you.